Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Super Mario 64 and I've just finished recording Tony Hawk's Pro Skater if you saw that and so uh, yeah, I'm just trying to record a whole bunch because I'm going to be busy for the next week or actually the next two weeks uh, yeah I have a lot of work and then we're going on vacation after a whole week of working so that's going to be oh it's going to be okay for me uh, I'm going to try to upload these during that whole week time though but yeah, we're going to be playing Super Mario 64. I had a whole bunch of technical difficulties, and one of them was audio. So the audio might be slightly distorted, but there's literally nothing I can do about that anymore. It, so, it, it sounds good, but like if you're up close, it sounds atrocious. But yeah, we're going to be playing Super Mario 64 on my old YouTube channel. This is one of the five games I like actually went out and 100%ed. Along with Kirby 64, so I'm not a stranger to this game. I, I don't know. I think this game is pretty alright. So hopefully I'll have fun playing it again. I've only 100% this game three times, which is quite a bit more than I I would think of because you know this game isn't a. Uh, it's not exactly the greatest, in my opinion. I prefer other Mario games. A lot more like Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy, but I kind of want to play these games in like a little timeline, sort of. So that's where that's going, but we're already doing this first level here, and it's not even like three minutes in. And we just had to, you know, dethrone King Babong. Stop following me, friend. There we go. Yeah, so, uh, okay, I don't know what to say about this game yet, but, uh, I, I've rented this game, like, twice, and I thought it was alright. I've seen quite a bit of, like, YouTube videos based on this game before I even, like, kind of knew about its existence, because Mario Sunshine was my first 3D Mario game. I, I really only played party games growing up, which is sad, yet, you know, I'm pretty okay with that. I'm, I'm glad I don't have any of those other games. I'm, I'm gonna be doing like a really large city, in, so I'm not gonna be saying, oh, this is the end of the episode or like anything like that. It's just gonna be like a cut, but it's gonna be in a location that makes sense. Maybe, I don't know. We I haven't really decided on that yet. But, you know, we're. I'm just gonna be speeding through this game. I wanna, I wanna just get as far as possible in this. Uh, and we're gonna be like getting all 120 stars, so. Wish me luck on that, not being bad. I really don't know what to talk about yet, but you know, in this hour and a half, give or take, hopefully I'll come up with something. But so right now we have the Koopa the Quick Race. Koopa is like one of my favorite Mario enemies because it's so basic and oh, it's just a turtle. A turtle that means no harm. But this race is really easy. The second race where you have to go against Koopa Quick is a lot more difficult. I find it interesting that all three of the Mario games, or actually not like every Mario game kind of has like a race track. I don't know about Mario Galaxy 2, but uh, 64, Sunshine and Galaxy, I'll have like a person who race. This one is Koopa the Quick. Uh, Sunshine has like some guy called like, L Planet T C the second or something like that. And then the, the third Mars Mario, Mario Galaxy has like, spooky speedsters to the blue that was a helmet. 
Yeah, but so we, we just got the star. And we're gonna just keep going to Bob Omb Battlefield. Because this game is pretty tight. <laughs> I would say that the beginning of this game is much more fun than the, the ending half. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't talk to the guy. But... I, think I, the right ones. I, I didn't pay attention to what the level is, and I, I think I would remember. That's like the one in the sky, but, but I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. I think I'm gonna get the red coins and then one other star, and then I'm gonna go on to the next level, and that might actually be it for the episode. Or I don't know, with the, it being six minutes right now. Who knows? Yeah, I'm I'm really excited for Super Mario Maker since there were some trailers for like Japan and. Italy or something, some of those countries, but they they showed like that there's six different backgrounds, which we kind of already knew, but they showed what they look like on like the original Super Mario Bros. skin of the game, or physics system, so that looks pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. I mean, I like having more options. I'm really hoping that there's going to be like winter, kind of like... Uh, I think all of the games had winter, except for... No, I think Super Mario Bros. 3 had winter. But I mean, uh, like... Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Where am I? Okay, but... Okay, so like, there, was, there was winter in Super Mario Bros. Like, Japan. Super Mario Bros. 2, as it should be called. Yeah, I didn't talk to the bomb. Oh. How many red points do I have? One, two, three, four, seven. Yeah. I don't know why I was just climbing the tower. I was busy talking. But yeah, this level is almost over. Super Mario Maker. Yeah. Now, uh, I I kind of mentioned this in the Tony Hawk Let's Play, but I wasn't too excited about Super Mario Maker originally. And now I'm, I'm not hyped for it, but I'm, I can't wait for it to come out, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Now I just have to go on this cannon and uh, collect the last record. You're able to, like, aim at the tree, but there's a possibility that you could overshoot. But yeah, we got the, the we got the eight red coins, and I think there's enough time for a few more stars. We're about eight minutes and forty-five, or just nine minutes in. So I think I can do two more stars. Or the, the other two stars I can do in this level, you know, bar the, the one hundred coins. You know, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have fun with this game. We're gonna have fun. Shoot to the island in the sky. So that was the level I was supposed to do. And this one only takes six minutes. Just kidding, it takes six, six, six seconds. But, yeah, it feels so awkward, like, recording without there being any any uh, music that I can listen to. Because uh, I could have headphones on for the TV or the game, but uh, these headphones are weird in that they're, they they are really quiet until you get to the loud area, but once they get to the loud area, it's too loud for the, the microphone, and then the microphone picks it up. So that's a problem I have to live with until I decide to get like a separate microphone. I've been really thinking about getting a blue Yeti microphone. You know, when I, when I have an exposable income. Of it's called. On last star I'm going for this episode is to free the chain chomp from Mario. Okay, this is uh, sort of hard, sort of easy. 
Chain Chomp was nightmare fuel growing up as a kid. I don't know if this happened with you if you're watching this, but... Fuck Chain Chomp. Oh my god, he's terrifying. A lot of games, a lot of... Yeah, well, just a lot of games in my childhood were terrifying. Mostly Mario 64 and Banjo-Kazooie. But I think Banjo-Kazooie would take the cake for that, so... That's gonna be it for this episode of Let's Play Super Mario 64. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like, or... If you want to see more of my content as soon as it happens, uh, you can subscribe to get my, see my uploads as soon as they happen, whatever I said on the 364 Let's Play. But until then, uh, see you next time. Thanks. Thanks.